Hey guys and girls, I am Izzy Noodles. Welcome back to Soul Reaver. In the last video, I didn't follow any of the story, so I was just collecting items, but this time there will be some more story. So, I last time went to the Lake of the Dead Warp. I got a bit confused last time, I forgot where I was going. But you need to be at the Lake of the Dead. So. Coming out of the area, long windy passages. From here, you want to take a left, and there will be an enemy around the corner. He will respawn every single time. So this is the Lake of the Dead. So the first time we were here, we took that route over there, and this time we're gonna hop across the gap. Now, if you fall in, you will actually just be taken straight back to the starting area, the underworld part where the Elder God spoke to you. So that way over there leads to the human citadel, and we've not yet been this way. So I mentioned before, if you try and go for the ladder, he will just not grab that ladder. That's what happens. And so you can only come this way after you've defeated Rahab and got the water ability. So now just following the path, this will lead us to the brother, kicking off straight away with one of the brother bosses. So his name is Duma. The end of the- oh yep, you do want to get this guy because he will follow you. Trying to throw him into the water now, I've lost my reaver. <laughs> How far away is the water? Ooh. Into the water. <laughs> there you go. So if you don't get that guy, he will actually follow you. <laughs> so he's annoying. So, following the path, and then you've got this open area right here. So from here, straight forward, you can't really see because it's incredibly foggy. That, we can't, there's a path down there and we can't do anything there just yet, so I'm not gonna bother going over there. There's really no point. That up there, that's the way into the boss. But firstly, to the right, there is a warp gate, so I'm just gonna activate that just for the hell of it. Just ignore this guy. Okay, and now straight into, where's the door gone? <laughs> straight into the lair from here. He's waiting. <laughs> so to reach that high ledge, you want to simply jump onto this ladder. And also the last brother that does not get a feature in this game, there is talk that you have to reach his lair from, I said lair, I meant lair, from these cliff sides. Maybe, not sure. Bit of speculation. Just an interesting trivia there for you. So now just glide over the gap and here we are inside the lair. This city once teemed with the life of my kind. Could it be that other clans had suffered the same fate as mine? In his madness, could Cain spare none of his brood? It was not Cain, but Dumas' own arrogance that brought the downfall of his clan. These are human weapons, Raziel. Believing themselves invincible, 
Duma and his offspring fail to see an attack coming from the least likely assailants. Complacent in their arrogance, they were taken by surprise, allowing the human vampire hunters to decimate their ranks with little resistance. The few that escaped have been reduced to scavengers. Okay. So these particular enemies on the ground, they're all grey and shriveled up. So you can't actually... Uh, if you take the spear out, he will not come to life. So he's all dried up and deader than dead. But from here, just shift and come through the gate. Okay, and you've got another gate in front, and let me just show you something around the corner. Not going to get too close because there's a wraith, but there is a block we can interact with there. So there is a bit of a puzzle here that we need to be in the material realm and interact with that block. But for now, just shift on through and opposite this side you've got this square in the center here which I call that a courtyard that's just what I call it but directly opposite the gate we've just phased through you've got the portal and let me quickly just show you what's what here show you which way leads to where just so you can get an idea of your bearings that passage leads to double doors or a door that is locked and cannot be opened so that is a dead end for now. This gate is where we came through and down here you've got this gate it's actually a drawbridge and that lever up the top there is what will open the drawbridge so that is actually our goal for now. We need to try and get up there. But first, I'm going to come back to the location where the portal was. And if you look inside, I mean, obviously you can face through the gates. And we want to interact with that block. Now, there is no portal within this courtyard. So you won't be able to shift back and interact with every anything. But you want to interact with that block. You want to push it all the way forward. So to do that, you actually just use your projectile. So you need to hit that five times, I believe. All right, and then just shift to the spectral realm. Phase on in. Eat this guy. Nom nom nom. Okay, so now this block is up against the wall and we can climb up to here. Let me just show you to get your bearings a bit better. You've got a ledge there we can go to. And a ledge there. And there is a movable block right there. So that's just so you get your bearings a bit. So shift. Always shift to the material if there is a portal. And hop down the gap. And now we're between the two gates. So that's how that's done. Now, with this stick, this stick is quite mysterious. There is sometimes, not always, an enemy here, impaled. A juicy one, so he actually will come back to life. But when the enemy is here, the stick is actually lying flat on the ground. But it's sticking up. <laughs> it's just bizarre. Anyway, pull the block out. I only once or twice. And you can use it to hop up to here and then from here you just want to glide straight across all right and then just follow this path to the next room Okay, so it showed us where we want to actually head to. To get up to there, there are blocks in the water we can use to stack, but we need to drain the water. So, come to the crank on the side here. 
and that will drain the water. So there were enemies in the water, so now they've actually come back to life, so deal with them. I will also get the guy on the other side because I will just forget about him otherwise. <laughs> Okay, so firstly you want to get the blocks from this side over onto the other side. There are four blocks on this side but you can only get two over because you need the other two to uh, sort of stack in order to get the others onto the other side. So there's two ways of doing this, because you, you get four blocks all together you can use to get up. So you can have a stack of three and then one on its own to build sort of a stairway up to the high ledge. All the way I'm doing it, I'm going to build a stack of four. Okay, so that's how you get your first one up and you'll do exactly the same with the second one, just shove this out the way. So then you can take your next one up. Okay, so now you can just stack these. And we have a, bl a tower of two. And just bring them over to this side, but don't push them over. You do not want to push them over just yet. And now there's two on this side, which I'm going to stack one on top of the other, right underneath our higher two. Okay, and now just shove your higher two onto there, and that gives you your stack of four. Now just move your stack two spaces away from this closer wall, just like so. And it can be slightly difficult to actually reach that. So as you hop upwards, you do want to go forwards before you hold down the X again, or the jump button, to glide. There you go. I'll just follow here, we get to a new room. Okay, so usually in rooms with pipes all up here, you need to push another block off, but not this time, just hop straight on down. And this is the furnace room. These two doors here, those are the ones that I said were closed, leading to a dead end. So that will eventually make us a shortcut here. We have two slopes up one of them, I always forget which one. You've got a wheel, so just turn that. So that's produced some gas. And the next slope has this lever, which is going to produce fire. And I wonder what will happen next. Some stuff. So now we've produced two doorways. There was that one right behind Raziel. And now we've blown out these doors. So that will take us right back to the courtyard again, but we don't want to go that way right now. We want to go up this way near the lever. So once you get to the end, you'll see the block. This is the block that I pointed out, the high ledge with the block. Give it a shove, and push it off the edge. And now it's in the courtyard. This is the courtyard. So now we can use our two blocks in here, stack them one on top of the other to reach this high ledge across this way over here.
Bernard up. So come to here and you'll be at an even higher point with this drawbridge. So now we're even closer to actually opening it. So hop to one of the sides, doesn't matter which one, but then you notice you can't actually go anywhere else. So what do you do when you're stuck? You shift. So now everything has moved about and we can jump onto the drawbridge. And then again over to here. And finally to here. There you go, hop straight on up and here is the lever, but we can't interact with that just yet or we need to shift to the material realm. Okay, so if you have a look now, that lower ledge that I used to get up to the lever is a lot lower now. So if you miss the ledge gliding back over to it, you'll have to shift again to hop up to the lever again, to glide back over to here, to shift again, and it's going to be an endless cycle until you do reach it. So it is quite a far glide. So I do often miss that one too, so <laughs> don't feel upset if you keep missing. Alright, so now just hop straight on down. And if you do happen to fall down underneath the drawbridge, there's actually a gate down below that I didn't show you. There's a gate right below here that you have to shift to go into, and I will show you where it comes out again, because the paths will meet. Right here is the gate, you just follow it around, and this is a second gate. So before I just carry on, let me show you what the deal is right now. You've got the passage to the right, there's nothing to do there yet. What's in there is what I call the statue courtyard, but there's nothing to do there yet. And in here, that leads to the boss, but we can't open these doors, we need to interact with the obelisk right here. So it's another case of we need to get within there, but without shifting because otherwise we can't interact with the obelisk. So we need to break some stuff. So getting within the obelisk is the goal right now. Not within the obelisk, I mean within the fences. <laughs> but we've got this block, just pull this out. And there is a slight ledge to stop you taking the block away from where you need it. So here it is, that's as far as it will go. Up on up, and up again. So that showed us where we need to go. We've got a few enemies in the corner there, but just ignore them. <laughs> We've got the fire behind, which you can use, but there's not much point because we need to do a lot of shifting right now. We've got a shift puzzle. So you want to hop onto the only pillar here that you can. All the rest are just too high. But we actually need to use them to get into that high gap. So you want to shift and everything will move about. So now just glide on to the next one we can reach. And now that one's too high, so let's just shift to the material. And then glide to this one now. But that gap is still too high, so we're gonna have to shift yet again. And now we can reach it. But the problem now is we're in the spectral realm, we want to be in the material realm. So come to the portal. There we go. So now just glide on down. And don't stop gliding until you know you are definitely inside the fences. There you go. So all you need to do is press the action button. Make sure the gate is in front. You are the opposite side to the gate. I don't think he'll interact with it if you're on the wrong side breaking stuff to break stuff. Cool beans. 
So I forgot to mention that this dungeon is actually pretty easy, there are minimal enemies. And right through here is Duma's throne room. Here we go. My brother, Duma, a powerful warrior in life. He would have burned with shame to have me find him here like a stuck pig. So, in this room, if you are in Spectral, um, all the brothers can actually also be in the Spectral realm, so just a word of caution with this one specifically, you've got a long way to go to shift back to Material to get away from Duma. So he's obviously obviously stuck, so just pull out the sticks. Okay. And then hop over to get the last one. Thanks are premature, Duma. I have not forgotten whose hands bore me into the abyss. The centuries in limbo have honed my strength. Not even Cain is my equal. Even the strongest vampire is vulnerable. We shall test your thesis, Raziel. My bloodthirst has been superseded by an even darker hunger. I will consume your soul before this day is done. Okay, so I'm gonna hang on to my stick just for the hell of it. And as usual, you can't physically attack Duma. So you want to lead him away. Ooh. And he does the thing where he pounds the ground like that and tries to hit you. And he can run a ring around you and take your health from you. So, right there at the obelisk, he sometimes... Oh, he often gets stuck, but not today. So, we are leading him to the furnace room. So, just follow the passage over the drawbridge to uh, the... What's it called? The courtyard? And then down that passage that was a dead end, but then we blew the doors off, so now we have a shortcut there. So, you always want to make sure Duma is following you. If he's not following you and he loses you, he will go straight back to his throne room and you'll have to go all the way back there to coax him out again. So the camera angles are a bit annoying to see if he's actually behind you. So here we go. This was a dead end the first time we were here, but not now we've blown the doors off. <laughs> in the ground that's a good sign you know he's behind you <laughs> so here we are so again we want to go up the correct slope to turn on the gas so I believe it's on the right yes it's on the right of entering and then go to the other side turn on the fire because we are fire starters Twisted fire starters.
consuming Dumas' soul empowers you to wind a constricting band of spectral energy around your enemies. This energy manifests itself in both the spectral and material realms, and in the physical world, it can be employed to manipulate otherwise immovable objects. All right, so now we've got a new ability, and I'm going back to the statue courtyard, all the way back to Duma's throne room, to get an item that we can now get with Duma's ability. And I don't need my stick anymore. That was just in case uh, I needed to hit Duma, in case he was just being a troll. You know how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so now down this passage to what I call the statue courtyard. Here we go, here's the obvious statue. And there's four doors in here. This statue is pointing at the door that I came from. So that door is open. Now if I show you the new ability, just run around the statue. The statue is now facing that way. And that door is open, but the one I came through is now closed. So through that door, there is a swirly-whirly on the ground. If you stand on it, your health will go straight back up to full. So there's actually no point going in there because I've already got full health. And also, once you do enter these rooms, the door closes behind you. And for them to open, there are two Teralim in the room that you have to defeat. So the Teralim are the ones that shoot projectiles and they are the vicious ones with the big ears. So no way. No way unless I need to. So next room, I am definitely going in this room because there is a health piece. So same as usual, two Turalim, kill them to open the door again. Here they are. So I'm actually going to use a very powerful glyph. I'm going to use the sun glyph. So that's the perks of actually collecting the glyphs. <laughs> Okay. And here is the piece of pie. So, next room. So in this next one, there is only a fire, which you can actually use to get the fire reaver. But to exit the lair, uh, you have to shift through a gate. So there's actually really no point in using it. And you still have to kill the enemies. And if they hit you, you lose your reaver anyway. So I'm just going to leave. So that's this area completely done with now. So just heading straight back to the exit. Here we are. So the rest of this video, uh, this is actually at the point of, well it's not at the point of no return, but once we continue with the story, we get to the point of no return, that's just what I call it. We can't come back and collect anything else because there's no point. Uh, so we have defeated all the brothers and we've got all the abilities that we can get, so I'm actually going to spend the rest of the video collecting everything that we don't have. Open the door. So there are a few, there's another glyph, a few more health pieces and another energy piece or a couple of energy pieces to get. In the furthermost canyon of Nazgoth's frozen wastes, the hushed silences embrace an ancient enigma. In the bowels of this labyrinth, your master awaits. 
So the direction he is referring to is that way. We still can't go there yet. I mentioned that was over there, but it's actually really foggy, so you can't actually see. So now I'm going to use the warp gate, find some other items. I'm going to go to... where am I going? The human citadel. So now we have uh, to find, yes, <laughs> so after you can get these after defeating Rahab, the two items that I'm going to get, because we have to go through water, so you can get them any time after Rahab. So leave this square area. the stairs and this is where we want to be hop straight on down into the water and there is you can't see it there's this here so just you can shoot that and get through and just follow the path so this fan here will not harm you it's just there to get in the way Find the next tunnel. And here the camera angle gets a bit funny. You swim straight forward and hit your head. But yeah, it's difficult to try and... There we go. <laughs> get out of there. So just press all your directions and you'll eventually stop swimming into that. So when we come out of here, there will be an enemy in the water. So, whoop, try and get out of the water. Oh no! Okay, it's alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, so here is where we will pick up our glyph. It's the water glyph. And the puzzle for it is straight at the back through the door. So you've got this waterway that leads to a room at the end there and if you hop out onto the other side you have this blatant block in the wall. So you just want to push it to the room at the end of the waterway. In this room there is a hole. You want to push a block into that hole. And that is it. Puzzle solved. That's all you have to do, and now we can go and collect the glyph. So that is possibly the easiest one. Even the fourth glyph, you have to realise what on earth you're doing. Okay, water glyph. Cool, 
And as usual, a demonstration. There you go, so that burns enemies up because they don't like the water. Awesome. And now just hop straight across here to the ladder. If you follow the path that's up the top here, it will lead us straight to the health piece. Here it is at the end of the road. Okay, so now we have everything in the human citadel. So we can now actually leave the area. We have nothing left to find in this area. So, just going to head straight back to the war gate when I can find it. Oh, here we are. It is a big area. It doesn't need to be, but it is. through the square <laughs> across to the other side and then up the stairs and that leads us to the warp gate okay so now I am going to Rahab's territory Okay, so here, in this area, we have to get an item within the lair. So you can't do that until you've got Duma's ability. And also there's the, an item out of the area. So straight ahead is the lair, but firstly, heading to the what I call the boat area. There's the boat. And hop straight in, and you want to go to the right. So there are enemies in the water, especially in this corner. There's quite a few in this corner, so try not to stay still for too long. <laughs> so I'm picking up a energy power up here. So if I was actually just playing casually, I most likely won't bother with most of the health pieces and most of the glyphs. But walkthrough purposes, I'm going to get it and show you exactly where it is. I probably wouldn't even bother with any of the energy power-ups. But there we go. I believe there is one more to find. So now just head back out to the boat. Long passages for no reason. We're nearly there. <laughs> and they are following you. Just be aware of that. They are probably going to be right behind you. Okay, hop out. There we go. And now into the lair, so up here to the ledge, but to reach the ledge you have to be in the spectral realm. There you go, awesome stuff. Okay. this don't forget this will close behind you once you enter so there's only one way out when you've entered here and the way out is through the back entrance 
over that way. Remember the uh, the beams at the top? So you have to go that way to actually leave this area. But the quickest way to what I want, I'm going to uh, pick up a health piece. You want to go through the front door. Because that's the fastest way there. So I killed him earlier, didn't eat his soul. <laughs> But there are two guys here that will respawn, so through this door you want to shoot your projectile straight away. And then he'll get stuck on there, but if you eat his soul, he... No, if you don't eat his soul, he will still respawn. There's also a guy around the corner here. So <laughs> just go mad with your shooting. he will also respawn, so that's kind of annoying. But right here, we want to use Duma's ability and run a be better at circles, <laughs> try and run a ring around this funny looking contraption. So now we've drained the water, we can interact with two blocks down here. So behind this one, there is nothing but sparklies. All the sparklies, which we don't need. So the next one... There is an enemy, you can just see him lurking behind there. And there is a piece of pie. So you don't have your reaver, the best thing to do is sneak on in, steal the piece of pie, sneak on out. But do not go near him, do not touch him, because he will know that you're there because you just touched him. <laughs> so sneak on in, steal the pie, sneak on out. Simple as that. So just leave via the slope. And you can see now we're back at the top where the, I'm going to call it the gear is. Don't forget this enemy right here. Try to take a chunk out of me. Going to be another one around this corner. Ooh, he tried. Alright. Mission accomplished. So now we can leave the area. So that's through the, whoops, uh, through the back door or the back way, the way we would have tried to... I can't describe where we are. Don't ask me for directions, it's this way. <laughs> okay. So I believe it was part four where we defeated Rahab, so if you need any sort of reminders, fairly certain part four is where to look. Okay, so back to the material realm. There are enemies, don't forget. So you want to come through here. We shot this the first time we were here, down the stairs. And the first time we went down a second set of stairs to get to the fire forge, but not this time. I believe you want to take a left at the bottom of these stairs. I feel as though I could be wrong. But you're looking for the archway, like left and left again maybe. I feel that I've maybe gone round in a circle. But you're looking for the archway with the beam of light coming out of it. That's just the sign that this is the one we want. All the others are dead ends. So also last time uh, we found the fire forge in the water. Nope, it was the, the fire glyph, that's the one. So if you still want that now, you can go get it. Part 4 is where to find it. So I think coming out of this tunnel, take a right and that's the forge. But up the steps. Here we are. Was anything follow- oh my goodness. 
I was just wondering if anything followed me. I guess so. I really want my reaver. Still don't have my reaver. I will cry myself to sleep. It's alright. I got this torch. So now we're actually going to follow the path that we took to get to Melkaya in part one. How dare you. Come on, guy. I want my Reva. Outrageous. I'll use a good one. Use a good one. Um, one that's gonna kill him. Some of them don't kill them instantly, such as uh, the stone glyph that just petrifies him for a moment. Let's use the water glyph. Better work. There you go. He's what? So I guess not then. Come on, try. I'm gonna try and use the new. Um, there you go. That's the new Duma move. No, him. Pick him. Up. You know, I'm faffing around too much. I'm not gonna get the Reaver back. Well, it's been confirmed that the water glyph does not kill the enemy. <laughs> I look a stick. No. This stick. Okay. I don't know why I'm so desperate to get my reaver. I think it's because I know there's fire around the corner. Oh, he saw me. Cool beans! <laughs> so, fire! There you go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Cool. So, <laughs> up the steps. And remember the first time we were here, there was this thingy pointing to the drawbridge, and we pulled the lever, the switch, and the bridge opened. Now we have Duma's ability. We can run around a run a run a round a ring. Yes. So that's now facing in a different direction. And if we pull the switch, a different drawbridge is gonna open. Cool. That's why the fire reaver is awesome. You just don't have to deal with any enemies. But here is our last piece of pie. The pie is complete. So we have every health piece now. This is maximum health. This is the fullest health you can get. So I'm gonna run another ring around this. Whoop. Be better at your own circles. Need more practice. Practice more shapes. Uh, where's the switch? There it is. Okay. So through here, there is our last energy power up. So there it is right up there, but we need to stack some blocks on top of each other in order to reach it. We have three blocks we can use. One is right up here, so just give that a shove off the side. Okay. So I'm just gonna push this one onto here. Now that I think about it, I didn't have to. I was gonna use that to stack it onto this one, but I just realised that 
I can just stack them when they're right next to each other. That was dumb. Okay, and just move it so it is one space away from this middle section. Okay, now hop straight on up to the energy power up. Now we have full energy. So, that's it now. We got all six glyphs, we have all the energy power ups, I believe there are five and we have all 15 health pieces. So we can continue, whoa, well I don't care, I was just about to say it, um, now we've got all the pieces, we have everything we need. I'm actually gonna end the video now, I'm just gonna go to the portal as usual and when I reload the game I will have a reaver so it doesn't really matter that they hit me. So that's it, we're ready, we're ready for the final battle. So the next video will be the last one, so I actually hope you're ex as excited about it as I am because it's going to be awesome. So thanks for watching, take it easy guys.